your butt is on my shoulder. And I mean, look at it. Would you just look at it? You still there? Wake up, wake up. Was that as brutal for you as it was for me? Good morning, good day, Blackberry Ridgians, good whatever time of day this video might be finding you. Hello YouTube, my name is Josh. Uh, we are Blackberry Ridge, as you know, you clicked on the channel. Um, thanks for watching. Today is gonna be kinda like an all over day. I'm actually gonna shoot a couple videos today, but mainly just a collage video right here. Uh, and then the next video, we're gonna probably start some electrical work in the shop. I thought you guys might find some of that a little bit interesting. But today, before we start that, we got a little bit of just kind of all over stuff to do. Uh, the first thing I'm doing, <coughs> as you can see, we are coming down to check on the honeybees just to kind of see what kind of activity we may have going on or what we may not have going on. But uh, just also thought I'd show you the view again from kind of where maybe the back of the houses might be. Um, you can kind of see this is Bixoma Lake right here. So uh, that'd be kind of what we're looking at with all the leaves down. But um, yeah, so we're just going to do, I got to do that today. Uh, I got to kind of test the, uh, the gravel you saw us. Hey, Duke, come here. Here. Got to test the gravel you saw us put down the other day. God, this dog. <laughs> He's going to be the death of me. Duke, come here. 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 He makes me, you just, mmm. I should only have to say here once, you know? He's like one of my kids. But anyways, uh, we got to test all the gravel we put down the other day. We had the snow come on it. It's had plenty of moisture. So I need to take the big heavy tractor and just kind of drive back and forth over the top of it and really kind of hammer it down while there's still a little bit of moisture in the ground. Um, and then we are supposed to be getting some more rain this afternoon. So I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna put Crusher Run down today or not. Uh, my uh, dad is out on pistol, the skid steer, and uh, he is putting down another load of uh, that crushed up concrete on the road because guess what? It sunk again. Um, so yeah, we're just doing kind of a bunch of miscellaneous stuff before the rain starts. And then uh, once the rain starts, we're going to move inside and start wiring up the shop. So come along with us and let's go down and check on our honey bees. Well, people, this isn't a great sign. I see flies, but I don't see a single honeybee. So, I wasn't gonna open the lid, but I think now we're gonna open the lid and see maybe what's going on. Okay, so here we go. Main lid off. I don't hear really anything either. This is probably not a really good sign. Oh, they're there. Okay. I guess they're just enjoying winter, but they're there. Huh. Interesting. The only reason why I'm a little like, what in the world is it's actually not that cold right now. It's 60 something degrees but after the week we had it's not 60 something degrees it's 50 something degrees but and it's the middle of the day but after the week we had maybe they are uh just preserving some heat and doing the best they can uh not out flying around but we'll see um i've been told to feed them this time of year i've been told not to feed them so i'm gonna get in touch with my buddy at taylor over at pure living for outdoors if you guys uh, haven't watched his channel, go subscribe to him now. He's uh, got quite a bit of bee knowledge. He hasn't really been doing it, I don't think, for, for like a terrible, crazy amount of time. But man, did he study up on it. So he knows quite a bit about these. He's given me some advice in the past. I'm going to call him uh, here in a little while and see what he thinks. Uh, I just expected there to be a little bit of activity, but uh, maybe not. Maybe it's they're just uh, 
it's cloudy, it's overcast. They're just maybe protecting their what they got and keeping their warmth in the box. So that's the honeybee update. Let's go do something else. You know what? I bet Taylor's fishing today. I'll probably wait till tonight to call him, but maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should interrupt his fishing. I should be fishing today. We'll call him here in a bit. But man, it'd be a good day to be fishing. Windy though. You still there? Wake up, wake up. Was that as brutal for you as it was for me? Cause that was boring, boring. All right, well, I got done what I needed to get done though. I drove over every single bit of this. You can see, well, you, I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not. It actually did pack into it a little bit more. Uh, you can kind of see some ruts that I've got over there. So you can see that I did press this down into the mud some. Uh, right in here where we're pulling in is really pretty unlevel it uh, needs a little bit of work but I think we're gonna accomplish all that work with this stuff here um, I don't know that we're gonna have time to spread all this today we might we'll see what the day brings but you know the clouds are looking uh, pretty heavy so especially back west so um, probably not gonna get to that today don't want to get really in the right in the middle of it and get rained out of it. So um, let's all go on to the next thing. We gotta go find that stupid dog. We gotta go find Duke. If anybody would like to buy a dog, I've got a I've got a really expensive one for sale. Golly, he makes me so mad. I just found him in the in the neighborhood last week. He ran off from here, and the vet calls me, and somebody found him like a mile away. So he's getting ready to uh, get a little le electronic boundary out here that he's not going to love at all. Or he just may get a new home. 
I'm kind of at the new home point. Gonna be honest. Okay, so I pull back in with Peckerhead, and uh, my dad is no longer on pistol. He is now on Pete the tractor, and I guess he had. Uh, <laughs> I guess he doesn't want to spread the gravel with pistol because that would mean that I'm right and that you can do both with the skid steer. He wants to spread the gravel with Pete and the box blade because that's what he wants to do. Well, I guarantee you, you watch. I'm going to walk down here and I'm going to show you what he's doing. I should have taken the Ranger. I don't know what I was thinking, but I'm going to walk down here. I need the exercise. That's what I was thinking. And I'm going to show you what he's doing. And I guarantee you, Mark my words. I may or I may not get it on camera, but I guarantee you when he gets done, he's going to look at me and said, I mean, it'll almost be exactly like this. You can't do what I just did with that skid steer with what I just did with that box blade. That is good looking. And I'm going to tell you people, I'm going to, if I have to, if he says it, I'll throw in, uh, a little side-by-side -side comparison of what I did with the road before but right now he's got he's box blading he's got the blade down and we're actually walking if you can see behind me on uh, what he's doing right now but I guarantee you it's coming you couldn't do what I just did with that skid steer with the tractor guaranteed with what I just did with Pete you can't do with pistol but he's gonna say it I promise Slowly, slowly, keep it going slowly, right. In the words of my mom, I'm a hundred years old. He's not paying attention and he's pitched too steep right now, so the front edge of the box blade is making this line. And he can't see it because he's only looking over his right shoulder to check on this ditch side over here. He's not paying attention to this right now, but it's not hurting me, so I'm not going to stop it. Because let's face it, I'm already a hundred years old. So you can see right here where he pitched two feet. A, a line to guide you all the way home okay so I will admit driving the bat the the skid steer backwards to try to do that is not as easy probably on a road type situation as driving that thing just slowly and steadily and boringly down the road so both get the job done. I guess it's just uh, pick your poison. He's getting ready to get out. We'll see what he says. Hang on. Let's see if I can catch this. He's going to say it. You watch. We need to turn that off. We're going green at Blackberry Ridge. Oh. Yep. Oof. 
it's in there. <laughs> That's a clay ball. I don't think we're going to have any trouble lining our pond. No, if we can just take a foot off the top of our paddock, we'll be fine. I was trying to, I have this thing on an angle right now. I'm trying to cut, you know, make the center of the road higher than the edges. Oh, you had it pitched one way? Well, about halfway back here, your front end was too steep. The front of your deal was digging. See it's slightly, you see it's slightly canted. Try to crown the road. You try to crown the road so I'm gonna make a couple more passes. And then I'm gonna level the blade and then just drag the whole road and make it level. You didn't want to do it with pistol? Pistol's got teeth on it. You go backwards. Oh, just with the bucket flat? Yeah. Well, you can climb on there and jump in all you want. Dang it. I even tried to provoke him right there. It's coming out. At some point, it's coming out. It'll probably be tonight when we're sitting around eating dinner, but at some point, he's gonna say it. So, this right here is that far from the barn, looking like one trashy homestead. Link a video up above. But uh, I'm gonna come get um maybe the ranger i don't know that we need pistol for this i'll come get the ranger or uh or cowboy and we'll load some of this stuff and take it over there to our uh temporary 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 equipment or uh material storage location until we can uh get some of this barn cleared out but the wind's picking up it's definitely getting darker I think the rain's getting closer, so we need to get some st this final uh, pile cleaned up while he finishes the road, and then we can move inside and at least drill some holes today. I don't know about running any wire, but it'd be nice to map this thing out and drill some holes for electrical shop, which will be a whole other video. So let's go get Cowboy. No? Yeah, maybe Cowboy. All right, the Ranger's got some stuff in it. Cowboy's bed's pretty much clean, so Cowboy it is. You coming? You gonna run next to me? Well, sure, just come on in. Your butt is on my shoulder. You think I want your butt on my shoulder? Okay, so we just got, I mean, this stuff has been here since we started this project, basically. Um, you know, some fence posts from base, when, when we laid out the slab, uh, the paddock location, got to throw those in here. Those are some cut off pieces of metal that we found throughout the property. Um, there used to be an oil pipeline. Um, that's some of the water line leftover material. So, um, and then the barbed wire you saw. So we just gotta get all that picked up and then uh, put somewhere else other than at the entrance to the barn. Pile clean in the back of the cowboy. So I don't know how many of you guys might remember, might not, I did a uh, fence mending video oh really early on in the channel actually probably maybe last year about this time maybe yeah i bet it is i bet it's last year at about this time so it's maybe been a year ago like right when we started it was probably first 20 videos uh, i did a fence mending video the daniel arms method and uh well 
I don't know that that worked out. Uh, I don't remember exactly what happened here. I don't know if it just gave out or um, something hit it, uh, but again, but uh, my splice is not spliced no moss. Well, but that's okay. We're actually gonna stack uh, all this fencing stuff right in here next to our firewood, next to our extra plumbing, next to our water. I mean, this kind of looks like grapes of wrath right now, but it is what it is because we haven't had an opportunity to build equipment shed and all that good stuff. So for now, it's gonna go right here uh and which is just so happens to be convenient for that uh that was my first ever uh time to mend a bob wire fence so i'm not gonna say it was the daniel arms method it was probably a little bit of uh uh lack of experience going on there but uh, we'll give her another shot and if it happens again then it's daniel's fault 100 daniel's fault let's get this unloaded Well, I keep saying it's gonna rain. I mean, it's sprinkled a couple of times. I hate to keep putting work off and stuff that needs to be done just because of the threat of rain, but I really don't wanna get deep into that and uh, start pouring down rain. And I mean, look at it. Would you just look at it? It looks like it could rain. Uh, my cell phone isn't working, so I can't um, check the radar. So I don't know what's going on. So I think I'm going to end our uh, just kind of miscellaneous work stuff video right here. Um, and uh, now we're going to get on to probably start going drilling some holes, but uh, that's a whole other video. So I'm going to let you know about that. Duke, uh-uh. I got to get a GPS collar for him, um, one that gives a little uh, corrective stimulation as well. So if you know of anybody who has those or know any good ones, leave a comment below so that uh, I can get this little corrective uh, issue, this little running off issue taken care of. But that's gonna be it for this video. I appreciate you watching if you're still here. I appreciate all your support. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please click su subscribe. If you haven't liked the video yet, please like the video. And with that said, I'm out of here. So we'll see you next time up on the ridge.